We'll get our first look today since the holidays on where flu and COVID cases stand in our area. We're already seeing busier testing sites in Wake County this week. WRS Nye Harden joins us live now from one of the testing sites that will open today. Naya. Yeah, this testing site is going to open this afternoon and we expect to see a line out here of cars as we have been already seeing in several different locations. And that's because doctors say today's new update will be a snapshot of the effects of the holiday season and new data will also help hospitals prepare for the weeks ahead. Throughout the pandemic, we've seen an increase about 10 days after gatherings followed by hospitalizations. The most recent virus data, which doesn't cover the holidays, does show cases are already up in some areas. UNC reported more than 300 COVID positive patients compared to 80 a month ago. Duke Health says flu and RSV, as well as other respiratory viruses, are trending downward. But COVID took a sharp increase. Wake County says more testing sites will be opening and they're working with Mako Medical and Optum. The messaging is that COVID is not over, <laughs> the flu is not over. Um, you know, now we've got RSV added on to that. So the, the best way to keep you and your family members safe are to make sure that you're testing regularly and then um, staying home and taking appropriate treatment uh, where necessary. And you can visit the WREL News app to find out where your closest testing site is. And we also will have an update on that new data in our later newscast. Naya Harden, WREL News in Raleigh.